Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for a wrestling mayhem show at Mayhem Show on that Twitter. And please, hey, follow us on there and you can check out about 7 in the morning Eastern time. Uh, I'm going to be trying to tweet out a story, hashtag story of the day. I want your thoughts. And if you get at us within probably a half an hour of the tweet, uh, we'll uh, actually include it here uh, within the, uh, the Mayhem Minute every morning. So uh, this morning, we're actually kind of taken off from our Facebook group, another place where I'm going to start to pay a little more attention to get stories from because you guys are already discussing some of these things. And uh, we can get your comments uh, into the show there as well. So the biggest news last night, of course, uh, you know, I, I, everybody's excited. Uh, Sami Zayn was uh, uh, re-debuted, I guess we can call it, on uh, Monday Night Raw against John Cena. And, uh, of course, uh, you guys saw it if you watched there live, if you, if you watch it later or whatever. But it looks like he uh, did get a little bit of an injury, unfortunately. And it is confirmed, at least on WWE.com. And, you know, you can kind of uh, believe or don't believe that. I'm going to go with believing on this story because looking at what happened. And we do have a medical expert on hand of sorts in the Riz. I will not d disclose why he's a medical expert, but he does know what he's talking about. I can confirm that, okay? Um, but, uh, of, of course, you know, a tremendous match, and early in the match, it looked like something happened, perhaps maybe a shoulder popped out, something like that. Uh, some discussion already comes out, you know, uh, uh, James on the, on, the, on the Facebook group is already saying, yeah, definitely popped out, and... Uh, you know, uh, and we talked about this last night on the on the raw wrap up. And please go check out the raw wrap up. But we had a, lot, a great discussion. A lot of the guys popped in for this one because it was such a good Monday Night Raw last night. But uh, Mac Hahn is saying one way or another, it, it it never seems to work out when Cena wrestles these younger guys. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Matt Connors, for that. Riz, like I said, honestly, it seems more like a subluxation more than a dislocation. It looked like it immediately went right back in after coming out and uh, could be just a few loose sore tendons in his shoulder. So hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's something that's not going to put him out because they do have the NXT takeover happening in just uh, under a couple weeks here. So, uh, you know, a pretty big match him, the return match against Kevin Owens, and that would really kill a lot of momentum. Really, NXT in general, if that were to happen. You know, this was uh, Sami Zayn in his hometown being introduced by Bret Hart, of all people, and uh, going at it with John Cena. This is nuts. And I, I tweeted, it's like, hey, a guy that resembles a guy that wrestled at IWC Super Indy is in there against John Cena. Holy crap. And, and, and some, though he may resemble a little bit of somebody called El Generico uh, and he, all around the Indies. So if you saw him, you saw somebody very film familiar, Sami Zayn. Um, but this is, uh, again, tremendous, and, and, and if anything else, as far as the match and him getting over with everybody, as if he needed any help, give a little more sympathy, give a little more reason for him to lose, uh, you know, a little more clean. Of course, he did take two AAs in order to do that. Freaking amazing, and you got to wonder if that was a call to kind of give back a little bit. Maybe John Cena really likes the kid. You know, uh, so we really hope this ginger Canadian that may be Mexican uh, really kind of sticks with it. I, I know everybody on the Mayhem show is behind this and, and loving to see what's going on. And by the way, the most they have ever done for NXT, only in the last two weeks have I seen NXT ads coming up on Monday Night Raw, for instance. Uh, great to support your product, guys, but also maybe something going on where it's like, hey, Let's see how it floats on its own. And considering none of us on the Wrestling Mayhem show were able to get tickets when it's coming to Pittsburgh here in June, I think they're doing a pretty good job. Not a good job of letting us see it, but still a good job of getting it out there and getting excitement. I can't wait for them to start booking bigger places than Stage AE, you know, and all these like little venues that maybe hold a thousand people. Guys, you need to get bigger arenas. Like get the uh, you know, a Rush River Ice Gardens, it's not going to hold that much or something. You know, it's not a great building, but, you know, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely more they could do there. Maybe go down to the arena down in West Virginia, you know, I think would be tremendous for something like this. ROH does it. Didn't fill the place. This will. How? What does that say? I'm getting into another conversation, but what does that say? That Ring of Honor that has national-ish, syndicated-ish TV can't fill an arena but I bet you NXT will go down to West Banco Arena there in West Virginia, and they would pack that place. I bet you. Everybody from Pittsburgh, everybody from all around will come to that thing. Tell me what you think on this video at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. 
wherever you find this. Please subscribe. We also have links on Wrestling Mayhem Show to audio versions of this show. You want to get your uh, a, a batch of mayhem every morning from the Mayhem Minute. And please, uh, like I said, look for a hashtag story of the day on at Mayhem Show. Follow us on the Facebook group. Check out our friends PittsburghWrestling.com, SliceOnBroadway.com, and BoldPittsburgh.com for supporting the show. Please support all of them back and let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.